All right, so let's get to, let's get rolling here this morning. What we did yesterday, let's go over this real quick. Hold on one second. What we did yesterday is we identified in the morning, yesterday morning at 8.30, we were sitting right at this level on the 9 Sim Rinko. I had a projected low right here on crude, and then she came down and she exploded off that level. Here's what you want to do. Our templates are already set up. They work on all markets the same way. Is that you want to use this longer term 9 Sim Rinko, the longer Rinko, sorry, for trend direction. We don't use moving averages per se for support and resistance or crossovers because they're lagging indicators. We use them for trend direction to get a bias in the market, whether it be net buyers or net sellers with smaller time frames. So the reason I picked this level as my deep retracement for the day, right there, when we're sitting here at 8.30 yesterday morning, is that these MAs are nice off the longer MA to look for a deep retracement to, for entries on any given market. You see over here we had another one in the afternoon. Good to go. I'm not so concerned about the arrows firing off a long time frame, off a long 9 sim, sorry, Rinko. I'm more concerned with it retracing, getting in with positive market delta, are looking for three or five sim arrows on the way up. So on the way up yesterday, we had several arrows that fired off our three sim Rinko in the direction of the nine sim trend. Trend. So not only did it get in the low, we had positive market delta right at the low. We had a really small stop for a big trade potential. You had several entries on the way up, and that's how I want you to play it off the 9 sim Renko. Now, if you notice today, are we trending up or down? The easiest way to do is look at the angle of your Magenta MA. Are we angled up on the 9 sim? Yesterday, we were all net buyers. You should take no net sales at all on crude. If we look today, are we net buyers or net sellers? What are we? What type of market are we today? It takes you a half a second to see off the long time frame. We net buyers and net sellers. We're flat. So what do we do? We don't trade the arrows. What do we trade off of? We don't trade the arrows today. We trade off of what? Very easy to implement. We trade off profile. And we want to trade off the what? Do we trade off all three profiles or do we only trade off the two profiles? We trade the edges, right, Adam? We trade the edges of the profile. So what we're going to do in a flat market, we're going to buy the high, sell the low. So if you look at market profile today, we don't trade the middle. We're not going to trade the middle blue, which is a control point. We're going to sell the edges. We're going to sell the high. It's out to it's at market profile. One, two, three four, outer edge. So that's how it's at the bottom. One, two, three, outer edge. So you want to avoid the middle and sell the high and buy the low when we're in a flat market. Avoid the middle, sell the high, buy the low with positive market delta. And then you try to go to coast to coast. You try to go from LVA to HVA, HVA to LVA. Now when we're in trend, it's totally different, right? When we're in trend and we're on an upside move, we're looking for breakouts of market profile and retest. This is where an arrow fired yesterday off of our arrow-based system. Why? We are angled up, so then we are outside a profile. This is called the black hole. No resistance above us at that point, and we can go straight up. And then the market just exploded to the upside. But what it did, it finally got outside a profile, and we'll look for that today. We'll look for the market to get out of, chop, out of chop or range today and finally break through 
It should break through. We should have a retest of that breakout of the outer edges. And this is how it's been happening for 32 years. Same exact setup. We should see that type of explosion again. So this is trend. That's what trend looks like off of profile because we get outside a profile. The most two important profiles you're going to trade off of to make it easy, these solid red, blue, and green, and these thin red and green lines. These dots don't count as much. They're great for scaling and for confluence. But your volume profile and your developing is the two most important. Price likes to break out, likes to retest. You like to see the arrow fire right here, which it did yesterday. You see it all the time. You get an arrow that fires off the market profile. You're good to go. She fired right there for confluence, and the market just got cranking up. And that's even before, I mean, after that we had a buy off the nine cent. So you want to use the profile in flat or range markets the best way to do it. You can see today we are flat as a pancake, right, off the long time frame. And you can see right here, you can see if you just look at the 9 sim here this morning, a lot different picture, right? Look at the 5 sim too. 5 sim Renko flat. Look at the 3 sim. Now, if I take this and I look, now that's chop. We're in chop today, right? So you sell the higher profile, buy low profile with market delta. Look at market delta over here. You see market delta? So what you do is you sell the high of profile with market delta and you buy the low of profile with market delta. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing high. Buy the low, sell the high. And that's what they've been doing this morning. Buy the low of profile, sell the high. Buy the low, sell the high until we break out. Then we're going to look for the arrows to pop in. So that's chop. You buy the low, sell the high of outer edge profiles, red and red and green, with positive negative market delta in chop markets. In range market, I mean in trend markets, it's going to look totally different. In trend markets, I'm going to be angled what? Now look at the nine yesterday. I'm angled up. Look at that hard angle. It happens usually three out of five days a week in pretty much all markets. Look at your angle. So what we want to do on a smaller time frame, yesterday, look at our angle up yesterday too. You see that? Look how they match up. Look how the angle is up and they're matching. Right? So you buy arrows off the small time frame on full retracements, full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. You're good to go. However, today, well, flat as a pancake. Look how flat it is. Chop. So what do you do? You avoid the arrows. And you trade market profile. And that's how it's been working, like I said, for 32 years in profile. It can only do two things, guys and gals. Either we're going to chop or we're going to trend. And that's as simple as it is. And it's easy to identify it with our templates. You get the trend or chop. You're halfway there. You're 50% away there on getting a nice trade on your hands. you got to identify that. If we're chopped like this, just avoid the arrows. Buy the low, sell the high with market delta. It's your best scenario. Now, what will happen is, is eventually crude will break out. And we'll break outside of red, outside of green. Then we'll look for a breakout, a retest. You'll see these arrows fire. You fire in the trade, and we go back into trend. And that's how the markets work. It's called the rhythm of the market. That is the rhythm of the market. And it's been working that way with market profile, like I said, for over 32 years. And it's not going to change. Because this, these are electronically traded markets. This is a roadmap of the market. So if you're trending hard up or down off your 9 cent, that's why you have these templates set up the way they are for you. If you're angled hard up like this, you better be a net buyer. You're angled hard down like the day before. We were net sellers. You better be a net seller. If you're angled, angled hard up here in the afternoon, you better be a net buyer. Angled hard down here in the morning, you better be a net seller. Angled down all day here, you're a net seller all day long. All day, you're a net seller off the 5 and 3 sim, and the 9 sim for retracement. All day here, net seller. 
all day here, net seller, morning, net buyer, net seller. Here, all day long, you're a net buyer. You buy deep retracements. Buy deep retracements. Buy deep retracements. It's not that difficult to understand what direction you need to go in. It just got to look at the angle at this larger time frame, the long t longer sim. I'm not worried about the arrows firing on here, like I said. I don't care about that. I care about the overall direction of the market that I'm trading off the smaller time frame. Smaller Rinko, sorry. Five and a three. And if they are flat like they are right now, what you do, trade off profile. Sell the high, buy the low. Off of Delta and profile. 